Hello friends, welcome back, or welcome the first time. If you haven't seen part one of this, I would suggest starting there. And that leads directly into what I want to talk about next is being good with your word, always telling yourself the truth, and understanding that the truth is that you can get it done. And to just never give up. Never, ever give up. You're only ever hurting yourself when you do that. And you are never getting the most out of every situation when you are willing to throw in the towel as soon as things get hard, things are always going to be hard. You're never going to avoid difficult situations that you need to fight back in to regain your footing. And it's going to test your limits. And that's the only way that you can extend them to any real degree. And if you are going to never give up you have to tell yourself that you can that's the truth you can I don't care who you are I don't care how smart or dumb you think you are or what you think your overall intellect whatever you think that is actually is if you think about things the right way you can get it done you have to tell yourself the truth. You may not be where you want to be right now, but that's right now. If you need to get better, it, that will change. And acknowledging that from the start, setting that foundation of always telling yourself that you can in every single situation is required to get anything of real value done. It's going to take a long time. And you have to have that unwavering perseverance about you. You have to be about it. And it's not going to be in every day you're at 100% all the time. But when you really have ingrained it within yourself to tell yourself that you can. That makes the really hard days bearable to know better. And it makes the tough days easier, the good days better, and the great days some of the best days in your life when you realize, when it clicks, that you didn't give up and you got that much further and you saw the progress and you recognize it. Oh, grab a hold of that. Hold on to that for dear life and use it to your advantage and understand that there's another step to take after that and another one and another one and another one. The journey of a th million miles, even further. We have so much further to go. It starts with a single step and those steps started a long time ago if you recognize that you've been learning lessons this whole time it's up to you to have the right perspective on all of these details to use them to their maximum efficiency and that takes so many different forms and even what you recognize from that situation is going to change multiple times over time if you keep if you just keep running through it not in an abusive critical way where you're regretting and hurting yourself to try to get your point across but you are taking it for what it is and not 
taking things personally and judging yourself and recognizing that's in the past. It already happened. It's up to you to learn from it the right way. Even, and on the flip side of that, it doesn't matter how good you were at something before. If you are not consistently building off of it, it's not going to mean as much as it can. Just because you were a really great person in the past doesn't mean you still are. Just because you're a really bad person in the past doesn't mean you can't change. It's an everyday thing. You have to be as locked in as you possibly can be every day. And that takes many different forms. And that is the essence of trying your best. Not every day is a 10 home run day. Not every day is a 5 home run day. Not every day is a one homer day. Some days you don't make it even on to first. But you got to keep swinging the bat. You're never going to hit the ball if you don't keep swinging the bat. Swinging the bat. Every day. That's trying your best. No matter the outcome. Stepping up to the plate as often as you can. Every time you can bear it. You may have just gotten hit with the ball. Now, you can focus on how badly that hurt, or you can focus on the fact that you're on first, and you have the chance to get on a second, regardless of whether your teammate hits the ball or not, you can still advance to the next bag. Knowing what you can do in every situation is the key to focusing on what is possible and how possible it is to do your best every day. And it is very possible. But like anything else, it's something that you have to practice. Taking that step, that first step every day is going to feel different every time you roll out of bed. But knowing that another step comes after that and another one and another one and being ready for it is the basis of tr being able to try your best in the first place, even the first day. Understanding what you're about and why you do things and being honest with yourself about your goals and realistically what you can accomplish each day is fundamental to understanding what it's really gonna take and really squaring up on something. You can't live tomorrow today. You got to do it today, every time, today, right now, in the moment. What are you doing to get what you need to get done? And that's not always just being always doing, 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 doing. You have to rest too. You have to be good to yourself. It's a balancing act. And knowing when you can go and no recognizing honestly when you can't is extremely important in taking care of yourself in the long run. Maintaining a good mentality is not something you do once and you have it for the rest of your life. It's a marathon. And you cannot sprint that marathon. I don't give a fuck who you are. You can't. And you're lying to yourself if you think that you can. This shit is fucking hard. And if you're doing anything worth doing, it's better be fucking hard. You better be making it hard on yourself. Because that's the only way you're going to get better. <laughs> fucking all the baseball players in the world could practice off of fucking Nerf balls for 10 years in a row. The moment they have to hit a real baseball, it's not going to feel the same. And all of that experience is wasted. You have to be practicing at game speed whenever you can. You practice how you play. And it makes a huge difference when you go about it that way and you're not taking it easy on yourself. And you're not, if you want to fucking steal, sharpen steel, you want to get it done, you got to be playing against quality opponents that are at your appropriate skill level. And being honest with yourself about where you are will only ever help. You have to be 
honest with yourself about what you can get done each day and how you're going about it. And it really does, it multiplies itself. When you can be consistent at that, it's exponential over time. You are so much more efficient with your time when you are adequately assessing your skill and putting yourself in the right environment to grow. And that's not trying to get ahead of yourself. But when I hear about people buying accounts for their favorite games and just assuming well if i just if i if my teammates weren't holding me back all the time all these random fucking people all these random shitters and noobs that i keep getting and they make it fucking impossible for me to fucking move it forward and if i was if i was just put into platinum then it would be so much easier if i was just put into diamond or if i would just if i i know that i'm a challenger and if i was just there then i would just it would be so much easier for me to just compete right from the get like nah nope no 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 nope you are giving up on yourself in a lot of ways you are not giving yourself a real chance to genuinely grow the right way from the start acknowledging the fundamentals of the environment that you're in and really gaining genuine awareness through trials and tribulations, you are never going to be as good at things like identifying flanks when people are behind you, knowing not to step out into certain spots and certain situations and things of that nature until you've gotten fucking blasted in the back to the point that you are sick of it. That you have to do things differently because you can't let those things keep happening to you. You have to change the way that you are wired from the deepest, darkest part of you to enact real fundamental change that makes you a better player you have to go through all of those situations from the dirty depths of the deep ocean that you are trying to escape from and it is hard to maintain a positive outlook when all you can manage to do is get shot in the face and in the back and in the ass in every fucking place that you can imagine you have to go through it yourself and you have to be honest with yourself at every point of the process how well you genuinely did in that situation there's a lot of ways to identify it to really critically think about all these situations, I would say your best place to start is to record yourself getting an outside perspective that is truly accurate from a timing standpoint, from a positioning standpoint. Recording yourself and removing your ego from that situation, whatever you have to do to do that, as soon as possible pretend it's someone else's gameplay or whatever you have to do taking an objective look at what you've gone through will only help you say oh shit I, there's so many things i didn't even recognize that when i was going through because you're i was thinking about so much like i didn't even know that guy was there because i was getting shot by four people from that direction so what can i do to maybe gain more awareness through other people or on my own. Can you ward that spot? Can you ask for information as you are going through other situations from your teammates? 
have you done what you can to check all of the boxes that you possibly can come up with you have to be honest with yourself at the end of the day you have to try your best every day and you cannot give up certain days are definitely going to be harder than others but recognizing that tomorrow is on its way you might not have gotten everything that you want done today but you have another shot at it hopefully for one reason or another you have to know that if you keep going you can get done what you need to get done don't regret each passing day recognize it for what it is and be honest with yourself and at the end of the day you gotta be safe stay dangerous and take it easy and never give up it is not worth it that is the only way that you can truly fail it's the only way you're ever actually failing if you are trying your best and you're being honest with yourself and you are genuinely trying to learn from every situation you are winning never give up ever never ever 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 don't give up don't ever give up don't ever give up it's not worth it it's not worth it be good to yourself and good luck